Okay, so I have to review a few things for those people who missed yesterday completely and who are not on the same program or on the same page. We're going to start in with our first activity for today, which is going to be an exercise. I'm going to go over it, show you what you need to do for it. And I want to reiterate a point for those people who missed yesterday. You don't have to worry about uploading it right now, today, when you get done with the exercise. You can wait until Tuesday night. But if you wait until Tuesday night, you're going to end up with everybody submitting it at the same time, and the system's going to run slower. If you submit it on Monday, or Monday afternoon, or Tuesday morning, you'll have better luck with the EMS system. I've extended it until Tuesday night as the very, very last night that you can turn it in. It's preferable to have you turn it in when it's ready. Because if you turn it in early when it's ready, not only will you guarantee that it actually makes it into the system, but you'll be on time. So, and it's not for those people who aren't here, it's not for them to give them more time, it's for, it's to compensate for EMS issues, is what this is for. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, I've made that point clear. If you also did miss yesterday, you're going to want to take a look at the videos that were recorded from yesterday's lectures. And because that will help you uh, figure out what you're supposed to do. And if you missed yesterday, no problem. You can still turn in the exercises that were due yesterday because they're not due till Tuesday. So everything from this weekend, today and tomorrow, is due by Tuesday night. So you have that kind of leeway going on there. So today's activity, the first activity that we're going to look at is called exercise number one. And it's on the bhacker.com website. It is also in the EMS so you can also get it there, but this might be an easier resource for you to get it at. I want to explain a few things about exercise number one uh, before I let you have time to do it. And uh, it's a research exercise. And so let me make this a little bit bigger so I can read it. So what are we looking at here? We've got, like, a little bit bigger. Uh, so let's see. Oh, hey, thank you for bringing that table in. That's an excellent idea. We could probably bring two tables in and put it up against the wall, but I'll do it. I'll do it at the break. I'll find another one for you. Okay, so you're going to read what's called the Oracle Essentials. There are many lectures that are posted on bhacker.com. I'm going to show you those in a few minutes. And then in the class box towards the end of the lecture list. Okay, so I'll show you that in a few minutes. These are little mini lectures. They're created by Oracle, and I'm not going to go over the lectures. Instead, you're going to review them on your own which is kind of an interesting concept, but sometimes you'll like want to spend some more time on one than another, So it's and there's a lot of them, and I'm going to show you those in a few minutes. All of these questions come out of those little lectures. So if you don't want to do internet searching and you want to do like read through the material, it's a reading and a regurgitation type of exercise where you're going to answer some questions as an example, what do the commands alter system and alter session do? and list some of the parameters that can be modified with the above commands. So, and then you're going to go in a, your locally installed Oracle version, you're going to go, I don't have any. Well, that's the thing. So you'll have to look, use the lectures for it. Um, I don't expect anyone to install Oracle. Actually, you don't have to. I see some people actually have it installed, which is good. Uh, listing all the tables that are available from system or system, well, user tables, well, that's actually a big question that says all. Don't list all. There's like 200 and something all. And they change version to version. So what you're going to do is give me about five or so. You know, give me a handful of user tables. And I'll tell you one. Uh, I'll Actually, one of the user tables is actually called users. <laughs> one of them is called privileges. And, and you'll get this as well through the mini lectures. It gives you a list of system tables. And it's just basically to give you some exposure to what kind of information the system account holds onto and what tables are available for query. And in fact, a dual. There's a, here's, oh, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. A uh, dual is another system table. So I just gave you three of them right there. So come up with two more on your own. <laughs> it's not meant to be a, an extremely challenging exercise. It's more of an exploration. And then uh, using DBA users view, list all the users in your system install. Well, you're not going to be able to do that either, especially if you don't have it installed. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to look up users. Well, I can tell you right now, I can give you one of them, system. <laughs> uh, you may also have other ones that you're creating. So don't think of this as a right or wrong answer. It's an exploration example. So 
you might want to go back and say, well, what kind of users are by default? Really, there's only one, which is the admin, which is called system, actually. Not to give you all of the answers, but that's an example. You may also think, you know, well, okay, so there's some default stuff. If you look at it, we have HR as another user uh, because of one of the sample tables. Um, so you can kind of ab lib a little bit and invent some users for samples or something. Or just say, you know, by default, there's only one or something. Uh, it's not meant to be tricky. List the number of locations of existing log files. The log files are actually kind of interesting, and you'll get that out of the mini lectures. Names and locations of control files. And you're going, log files, control files. How in the world do I find that? And now to answer your question about where are these lectures. <laughs> They're in the Oracle Essentials section. So you might see, we see control files, redo files, roles, privileges, profiles, and <laughs> rollbacks. It's all by topic. Tools, architecture, database. So what you do is you click on, uh, I'm going to just click on tools here. They're PPTs. So... I don't think I have a PPT reader here, but it, anyway, I don't really want to open it up. But you save it, and you look at it. So probably what you're going to do is go to this website here, the bhacker.com website, go into the Oracle class, go towards the bottom of the list where you see Oracle Essentials, download them, put them on your computer, use them to go search through. Managing users, that's a good one, going to give you all the default users of the system. And this is all documentation that's produced by Oracle. Um, and it's being uh, offered to you as a resource for answering these particular questions. These are also going to be the same resources for the next activity that we're going to do this afternoon. So if you save them without having to go through and look at them constantly, it might make it a little bit easier if we all download them at the same time. They're actually kind of small. I don't think it's going to cause any internet traffic. But uh, uh, be patient because like, a lot of people might be downloading them. Who knows? But long story short, you're going to use those for the next exercise as well. So if you download them, you'll save yourself some time. So, um, And so you're just going to answer in a couple of sentences or so. So what you can do is take this here and uh, um, you know put some spaces in between and provide your answers. If you can't find it, you don't want to use the PowerPoint. So you can use the internet as a resource. But as I was mentioning yesterday, do not cut and paste. I don't want to see volume. It's not called volumes. I don't really care how many words you use. You can answer all of these in probably about five sentences, you know, per one per each question, you know. It, it's not about volume. It's not about cutting and pasting. It's You want to show me that you actually have gone through and you've looked at this stuff? That's what I'm interested in. And I'm grading it by, did the student actually look at the system user tables? Or, you know, did the person actually know what they're looking at? Or... <coughs> Did they just like cut and paste some stuff from the internet and put it in there? So, which is not like the, what you're supposed to do. So, so you actually, it's 11:20 right now, and uh, that's why I say you guys could be loud again in a few minutes. Just listen to me for 10 minutes. <laughs> so, we're gonna work on this, and then we're gonna go to lunch actually, which is what we were supposed to have done yesterday. We're supposed to do like the assignment before lunch, and then we're gonna have lunch. <coughs> And then we're going to come back and we're going to have more lecture crap. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't call it crap. More lecture stuff where you have to sit and listen to me. And then we'll have another activity. And I want to get into SQL this afternoon as well. So do we want to, I'm going to stop the video because this, we don't, people don't have to hear about our lunch plans. So <laughs> we're done with this one.